Hi, welcome back. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. This is my first Homebrew Wednesday video. And the, the topics for today is uh, five steps to speed brewing. The head died down a bit since I poured it. I had to set set all the cameras up and start the recording. I will show you a video of the pour. Uh, the thing with this beer is that this beer was actually five days from grain to glass. So that's the big topic for today. So, this beer, uh, I also uh, did a label for this, you can check it out there. The name for this beer is The Fast and the Jello. This is a Hefeweizen. So, the five steps to uh, speed brewing. Number one, beer style. I selected a beer style where the yeast has its role. So I'm thinking maybe wheat, German wheat like this, or a, a Belgian style ale, like a, like a Saison, or any other beer where the yeast important as a flavor <clears throat> number two gravity this beer had an or original gravity of 1049 so I think you should do about low till medium gravity so maybe under 1050 something like that if you want to do fast brewing. Number three, pitch rate. You really want a high pitch rate. And I would suggest doing a starter, a big starter to get it starting immediately. With that said, this was brewed with the WB06, which is a dry yeast. Uh, I used two packs, rehydrated, of course. The next time I will try this again, I will do it with a starter, and I think I will do it with a Weistefan, yes, or a WLP 300, which to my knowledge, is the same strain. Number four, temperature control. It's very important. Uh, this beer I fermented in 20 degrees Celsius until it had reached over 50% antinuation. The 20 degrees were measured on the beer. But then I placed the beer in a chamber with 24 degrees Celsius. On day five, I've tasted the beer and uh, it tasted good, no off flavors. So I put the beer inside uh, my fermentation fridge and cold crashed it just to get the temperature down for kegging. Which leads us to uh, number five, keg. You have to keg. Because you have to force carbonate it. 
these are the five steps. You have you have to measure uh, your uh, S SG so you know when uh, when to put the beer warmer. This was fermented with 20 degrees Celsius to start with. Had it been another beer with another yeast, I might have done another temperature, maybe 17 or 18 degrees, something like that. Uh, so, and you also have, have to measure when uh, you hit your final gravity, so it stays the same for at least two days. And you have to taste the beer so you know that the yeast have cleaned up after itself. When you put the beer warm, this goes very fast, because it's not about just producing fast beer, it's about producing great beer. And this tastes fantastic. This method, I think, comes from uh, Brulosophy. And uh, he actually got it from uh, actually small commercial brewers, if I'm, uh, if I'm correct. So, <clears throat> that's it for this Homebrew Wednesday. The five steps, once more. Select a beer style where the yeast plays a major role. Two, gravity, low to medium gravity. Three, pitch rate, pitch high, pitch fresh. I would say make a starter. Four, fermentation temperature. You need that uh, temperature control. And five, kegging, so you can force carbonate it. So this was uh, done uh, six days. That means you, can, you could actually brew a beer on uh, Sunday and drink it next Saturday. And it's a hell of a lot better than store-bought as fresh is, as it can be. I don't know if I can break this record. I will certainly try. Maybe next time with a liquid yeast and a big starter. I can get it down to five, five days. The reason for uh, actually doing this with a wheat beer was because when I'm when I first started brewing I was told that you should to be safe put the beers two weeks in primary then move it to secondary where it can stay for two weeks or something like that that's four weeks <clears throat> but when I tasted the beer going into the secondary it tasted fine so, you really don't have to do that. So, I usually don't do a secondary anymore. Just go through primary, if there's no special reason. So, to sum it up, new logo. I hopped the Strat, the Hop Sniffer IPA. I have one, one beer on Cold Crash, which is in, uh, it's an American Pale Ale with Citra Hops. And uh, of course the Hop Sniffer is just uh, dry hopped, waiting to be cold crashed. And I have a uh, session uh, saison which i made a brewing video of which i can link to below here i hope thanks for watching 
don't forget to uh, thumbs up the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's it. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. 17. Dr. Hans out. Cheers. 17.